I often wonder, and I've always been curious of what chain of events has set me and led me onto the path of doing the hobbies that I do now. Was there some childhood event that happened that was dramatic or maybe something in the past as I was a child that sparked curiosity, memories, and kind of a chain event of events and a domino effect that led me to doing what I'm doing now. For me, drawing has always been a hobby that I enjoy doing too. I wouldn't say escape from the problems around me, rather I run to them. I think about the things that bother me and I try to figure everything out, map it all out, understand myself, rather than escaping it. But drawing gives the, that type of outlet to spend time to think about it by myself without any interruptions or without having my choices persuaded and changed by the opinions of other people. As far back as I can remember, I've always been drawing, doing it simply because I was able to sit there and really think about my life and yet at the same time do something that I enjoy without having to be told that I have to make something this way or that way. And as I look back on that now, when I see other artists, they start worrying so much about what people think of what they're creating. I mean, sure, there's a point to where you want to improve, a point to where you're required to produce something that is of a high quality because you need to make an income from it. But from the point of just starting out, you should be more focused on making sure that you're doing it because you enjoy it. Although it could be argued that there are things that we have to do in life that we simply do not enjoy just to make it by and to just make it through life. But for this discussion, I just want to talk about doing something you enjoy and a hobby and thinking about why it is that you even got to this hobby and to this point in the first place. I had a really difficult life growing up as a child and throughout my teenage years and even until now. But things have been getting better with age as I've begun to understand myself more and figuring out what it is that I enjoy and what I really want out of life itself. So when I look back on it and I think about why I started this, there wasn't so much a reason why, it was more so why not, because I enjoyed it. And it allowed me to express these ideas and these thoughts that I have and actually put them onto paper rather than just losing them in my mind to have them forever lost without anybody ever seeing them. And at the same time, I wasn't really doing it to really completely express myself to other people because I did so much drawing without anybody else's influence, without other people's opinions. I was just doing it because I enjoyed it. And I can't really specifically pinpoint a time that completely made me just decide to draw and that's the hobby that I'm going to enjoy. So as I look back on that, I try to collect my thoughts here and I mean, there's a lot of times where bad things happened and I did use drawing as an outlet, but most of the times, even when things were going better, I always did drawing because I enjoyed it. I just enjoyed the creative process and it wasn't only with drawing. Even in other things, I always wanted to create something, to make something new. And maybe that's why I enjoy doing abstract art so much more than creating realistic drawings or doing portraits. Although I do enjoy improving my skill at drawing and making things realistic looking. I just enjoy the whole aspect of 
being able to create something new, something different, bring something into the world that hasn't yet existed, that somehow is inside of my mind or somewhere there. And I remember as a kid, I always had these huge pieces of papers that I would get from the dollar store or some other cheap store. You could buy a bulk amount of them and they were like these big, really big um, poster papers. And I would just use them to, to draw on. And I remember drawing all kinds of random things on them. I would draw uh, dinosaurs and um, all kinds of other random things. And um, I remember we had uh, this big kitchen table and I would lay uh, paper across it and just spend most of the day drawing on that there. And so I had you no know, different pencils and pens, whatever I could use. I wasn't even worried about what I was using and I'd covered this in another video where I talked about being afraid to start to where you're worried about starting because of the quality of the materials or if you've got the technology or the skill I just started I just began I just did it for the fun and when I look back on that it's like it feels like it was just not that long ago but at the same time, so long ago, because in so many ways have changed so much since then, but at the same time, so many things remain the same. But, yeah. So what is something that made you become who you are now as far as the hobbies you enjoy and doing the things that you do? Because I have seen in some people that they might have a hobby or be doing something because there might have been some event in their life that was traumatic or a certain thing that caused them to do that. For example, someone might pick up um, singing or playing guitar or writing or something because maybe they had a friend or a family member that passed away that did that as a hobby. and. They use that hobby as an attachment to always remind them of that person that passed away. But for me, with drawing, I don't really, I can't really think of anything specific. I'll have to think about this more and cover this in another topic or another video. But if I ever find the answer, and if there is a certain thing that made me decide that I wanted to draw so much, I would get back with you on that and tell you and explain why. But I think at this point, and from what I have understood of myself, is that it's more broad, it's more interconnected through many different things rather than one event in my life. And there are some things in my life that I can look back on and say, I started that hobby or started doing it because something that happened or maybe somebody says something to me that reminded me of it and kind of went down that path. Um, an example I can think of would be back in school when I was in gym class. I never particularly had an interest in powerlifting, but it was mentioned to me by the other students that I was pretty strong for my size, and so as I got older, I'd, I had people pointing this out to me because it wasn't really that I was trying to pursue that. It was just how I was. And this is kind of connected in a way as well to my difficult childhood because I had to do so much physical work, so much physical labor, so many things that were very physically demanding and that toughened me up to where I could handle a lot more um, 
stress and physical work. And so as I get older, I get into powerlifting and I can see all those chain of events that connect from that at the beginning to that. But I also use powerlifting as an outlet to get rid of stress because if I was very angry or there's something in my mind that was bothering me, I could just take all of that, go to the gym, or I could just go outside and I could just put my stress into doing something productive that allowed me to just get rid of the stress that was not only good for my mental health, but physically it kept me in shape and it kept me from getting too worried about the wrong things in life or thinking negatively. And so I continue pursuing that and doing it. And to this day, powerlifting has been something that I've always enjoyed or uh, doing anything that's a uh, physical activity. As an artist, you spend a lot of time sitting in one spot and not moving around. And so I learned how important it is to stay active and to exercise because if I don't and I just sit around all day drawing, then I definitely noticed that my knees hurt, my neck hurts, my back hurts, and I just don't feel as good. And then because I don't feel as great, that starts affecting me creatively and I don't have as good of ideas for creating and I'm not really able to get them on the paper. And uh, kind of, I don't really know the word exactly at this point, how, what word to use, but I was going to say strange, but that's not quite the right word. But it'd be complicated how all this is connected together to make you pursue something or to go down a certain path in life that you look back on it and you think, why did I make that decision? And this could be with anything positive or negative. So just something to think about. And my food is finally finished, microwaving, and I'm going to go ahead and eat my food. But if there's anything else I can think of that I'm going to talk about, I'll be sure to record it and share it with you all. But until then, you have a good day and have a good night. I'll see you in the next video.